Okay. Um, next, we need a border. And we're going to use these two as our border. So we're going to click on this first one. Um, and we're going to drag that into our swatches. So go to Swatch in your tab. Drag that into the swatch. Highlight the yellow one. Drag that into your swatch. And now we can make a border. Okay, for this border, we're going to go to Brushes, and I'm going to hit New, sorry, go to Window, Borders. Okay, under Brushes, we're going to hit New Brush. We're going to make a new pattern brush. This is basically going to be a border. For the, fir for the first one, you're going to hit Swatch 3, or the blue circle and then the second one that's the line the yellow line um, for scaling let's put 200% so we make it a little bit bigger and then we can call this border and then we can hit OK and now if we draw a rectangle around the edge of our picture and we click on um, that border that we just made Okay, let's see. So, so the first one is the original, second one is a line, third one's a line. Hit OK. Okay, so you'll notice that we have a creative border now. So, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight, I would just delete your other two on the right side, hit Command A. Command C to copy. Let's go into our our bear. Okay, so here is our drawing. So we can paste that in. And when we paste it, uh, it would be better to paste it in its own layer. So and it's probably going to be a background layer. So I'm going to call this uh, lake. And then Command V to paste. And then there we go. Now I'm going to hide that lake layer. And let's go ahead and rearrange scale, basically, scale our drawing. So I'm going to make that smaller. So group those make those smaller move those up here make sure your pandas grouped I'm gonna make him smaller and I'm gonna unhide my drawing stick the panda bear right in there I'm gonna stick my bamboo somewhere maybe right there by the water Uh, make sure you have a sunset of a sky. So to do that, very similar to how we did the boat. Um, I would put that in the lake layer though. So you can draw a rectangle. And then double click on gradient and then hold on the shift key to make that linear and drag it, your arrow up and go to your swatches and choose some sun, sunset colors I can click on the middle and then I can go ahead and add a s second color and then a third color something like that and then command shift left bracket will send it to the back and then with the pen tool, I can create mountains. And with my mountains, I can fill that uh, like a black or a gray. 
and I can shift send that right there in the front. Uh, but make sure that it is behind your tree in the grass. There we go, something like that. So there we have it. Now we have our picture. Uh, we can go ahead and crop that if you want. See. On the left side, there's a crop tool or the shift O. And we can basically choose where we want it to crop. And let's see, we want it to crop just like that. Okay, so then we could, when we export and save, it would save only like that. So you notice across here is that's where our the size of the document is. Okay, so there we have it. We are done.